G'day, I'm Marcel Jackson, a mathematician at La Trobe University, and we're going to talk about the algebra of Groundhog Day, the movie. So, what do I mean by this? We're going to talk about uh, an algebra that might be used to model uh, instantaneous events, so events that occur as an instant in time, but which occur on some periodic timetable. So, for instance, something that might be scheduled to occur at 3 o'clock uh, in the afternoon um, is going to occur at 3 o'clock every day. Now, if you haven't seen the movie Groundhog Day, then that's okay. The idea is that Bill Murray, acting as Phil Connors, is thrust into a world where exactly this happens. The same day repeats over and over again. Um, and in fact, only Bill Murray is able to, or Phil Connors, is able to really see things for what they actually are. So let's imagine we've got some kind of clock. A 24-hour clock. So um, there's 24 hours here, corresponding to a day. So we have here, Bill Murray wakes up. I've got you, babe, on the radio. Smash! You have to see the movie. OK. Uh, later on, steps in the puddle. Maybe he has lunch. So we'll give these some names. Gets out of bed. Puddle. Lunch. And let's say at the end of the day, he goes to bed. So what we want to do is model this kind of situation um, where these things are going to happen every day. Um, using a notion of before, meaning strictly 12 hours before. After, meaning strictly 12 hours after. Opposite, meaning exactly at opposite ends of the day, so 12 hours apart. And S, meaning at the same time. So for example, Bill Murray gets out of bed before he steps in the puddle, which is before lunch. And of course he also gets out of bed before he has lunch here. Similarly, he has lunch before he goes to bed. But if you look at us, you can see he actually goes to bed before he gets up. And that's because this is less than 12 hours. So we have here a strange situation uh, where we get a kind of a cycle of befores. This is a bit like rock, paper, scissors, where rock beats scissors, which beats paper, which beats rock. So you could have B for beats. So in fact, there's a range of possibilities. What this corresponds to is a situation where we have two events. X is before something, so before some Y, that's before some Z. And this tells us the possibilities. So in fact, X could be before Z. So here is an instance where you're getting out of bed before stepping in a puddle, before lunch, and sure enough, bed was before lunch. Or, strangely enough, getting out of bed could have been after something. So here we have uh, getting out of bed before lunch, which was before getting into bed, um, but in fact getting out of bed occurred after. So going back this way, that would be an after. It's less than 12 hours. And we can also end up opposite. Um, something different happens here. If we do a before followed by an after, we can basically get anything except for opposite. Um, and so we have a table like this that governs how you might schedule um, the notions of before, how you might deal with the uh, notions of before and after on a periodic cycle like this. G'day, I'm Marcel Jackson, a mathematician at the Trobe University, and we're going to talk about the algebra of Groundhog Day, the movie.